أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان آیا نمبر تھرٹی تھری وچ وی ہیڈ آلریڈی ریڈ دیر از اگین دی اسٹائل آف حسف ایز آئی ٹول یو سرٹن ورڈز آر ڈیلیٹیڈ بیکاز دے آر انڈرسٹوڈ اف امن ہوا قائم الا کل نسم بیما کا سبت سو جسٹ امیجن ہی ہو از واچنگ ایوری سول آن واٹ ہی ہیز ارنڈ Can he be equal to a person or any other person who doesn't know anything? The, the deity that you have, you know, concocted, forged, they don't know anything. وَجَعَلُوا لِلَّهِ شُرَكَا And they have declared with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as partners. قُلْ سَمُّوهُمْ Ask them. Now just give them names. Who are they? أَمْ تُنَبِّعُونَهُ بِمَا لَا يَعْلَمُ فِي الْأَرْضِ Do you want to tell him Allah what he doesn't know? in the heavens and the earth. Now this is Shafa'a. As I explained, you know, earlier also, if you go and you, you want to intercede in some matter, what do you say? Well, the facts from the file, you know, they are different, but I know the reality. This case is not like that, which appears, you know, according to the file of the case. I, I can tell you the reality. Can anybody say this to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Doesn't he know everything? اَتُنَبِّعُونَهُ بِمَا لَا يَعْلَمُ فِي الْأَرْضِ اَمْ بِذَاهِرْ مِنَ الْقَوْلِ Now what is it? You believe in this intercession on what basis? Or it is only, you know, that you are uttering some words without meaning them. بَلْ زُيِّنَ لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مَكْرَهُمْ وَصُدُّوا عَلِ السَّبِيلِ But you know all these concoctions, that their own, you know, designed their ideas, their own man-made ideas, they have been made beautiful for them. People very much like, you know, oh, we can have the Shafa, he will save us. And you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not be able to turn back his Shafa. All these things, you know, absolutely nonsense. But people cling to these things. Then who those who have gone to that extent, now there cannot be anybody who can take them to the right path. Lahum azabun fil hayat al dunya. For them there is punishment in the This, this life of this world also, wal azabul akhirati ashak. And the punishment of the hereafter is going to be the hardest. Wa lahum min Allah min waq. And there is no savior for them from Allah. Now the savior, Jesus is the savior, our savior, our Lord. Because if, because we believe in him, he will save us. All our sins are condoned only by believing in Jesus. All these things, you know. But there are Muslims also who hold such ideas. Masalul Jannati Illati Wajal Muttaqoon. The similitude of the Jannah, the garden, which has been promised to the God fearing people. Tajri Mitat Al Anhar. Rivers will be flowing underneath it. Tukuloha Daimun Vazilloha. Its fruit will also be perpetual, and its shades will also be perpetual. Now, why this word muscle? Because we can't imagine what will be the state of affairs in Jannah. That is beyond our imagination. There is a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَاتْ وَلَا عُزُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَمَا خَطَرَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ بَشَرْ The real blessings of Jannah are which no eye has ever seen, no ears have ever heard about them, and no idea has ever come to any human mind. Because that is a different world altogether. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us, you know, a, some imagination by these words which we know. So there is some similarity, but you know, essentially there is a world of difference between these two things. That will be the end of those who had taqwa. 
وَاقْبَلْ كَافِرِينَ النَّارِ And the end of this, who disbelieve, that is going to be fire. وَالَّذِينَ آتَيْنَا هُمُ الْكِتَابَ يَفْرَعُونَ بِمَعُنْزِرَ إِلَيْكَ And those whom we gave the book, that is the Jews and the Christians, يَفْرَعُونَ They are rejoicing. بِمَعُنْزِرَ إِلَيْكَ On what has been sent down on you, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. Now, because till this, this time, the direct address to the Jews was no, has not started. It would be started after Hijrah, when Muhammad Sallallahu went to Medina, and then, you know, in Surah Al-Baqarah, we find those ten sections continuous, addressing them. But now the Jews at Medina were listening, that there has, you know, come up a person in Mecca who believes in, in Moses, who believes in da David. All these are, you know, our heroes. We know them. These pagan Arabs didn't know them. And he says that actually Torah was given to Moses. And he confirms all these things. He confirms that Zabur was given to David. So actually they were happy to begin with. That there is a confirmation. And what Muhammad is preaching and what he is saying is confirming their position, strengthening their position. Later on their reaction was something somewhat else. But in the beginning, you know, they said, at least in this Arabian Peninsula, there are people now who believe on, in those, the, which we call, you know, the prophets of the Old Testament. We believe in all the prophets of the Old Testament. And who are they? They are, so to say, the heroes of these Jews. They believe in them. So actually, because Quran was confirming Torah, Quran was confirming Injil, Quran was confirming Jesus, Quran was confirming Moses, and so on, so they were happy. And among the groups there are, you know, who deny some of it. Proclaim, O Muhammad, I have been commanded that I have to obey and worship Allah. And I cannot associate anything, anybody with Him. And I am calling you to Him. And to him is going to be my return. وَكَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَا حُكْمًا عَرَبِيًّا And this is why we have, sent, we have sent down this book, this Quran, as a judgment in Arabic, authority in Arabic. Because the Arabs, you know, they are to be addressed first of all. وَلِلْتَبَعْتَ أَوَاهُمْ بَعْلَ مَا جَاكَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ And if, supposedly, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, you follow their wishes, after that, this ilm, this knowledge, real knowledge has come to you. مَا لَكَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ وَلَيِّمْ وَلَا وَاقْ Then there will be no protector for you and no savior for you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Very stern words. Now you have to, whether it pleases them or not, whether they like it or not, you have to be firm on Tawheed and you have to be firm on whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending upon you. وَقَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَا حُكْمًا عَرَبِيًّا وَلَيْنِ تَبَعْتَ أَحْوَاهُمْ بَعْدَ مَا جَاكَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ مَا لَكَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ وَلِيِّمْ وَلَا وَاقْتِ وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلًا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ Now this is the only ayah in this whole surah which refers to the messengers, the former messengers. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلًا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُ بَزْوَاجَ they had also had the offsprings. And it has never been in the power of any messenger to bring any miracle, to show any miracle, to bring any sign, except with the command and leave and permission of Allah. The kulli ajal in kitab. And all these, you know, fixed periods of time, they have been recorded. What is the time for them? Till what time they will be given this respite? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a complete record of it. Yamhu Allahu ma yasha wa yusbit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He just blots out what He wants, wants, what He wishes, and establishes. Yusbit, and He establishes what He wants. Now this relates to, as far as I think, the nasq, you know. There was a command in Torah, now abrogated. Another command has come in Quran. Although, both the books are from Allah. Even in Quran, there was some command in the early days, then they were abrogated, another command was, you know, given in its place. The, you know, the, the bequest for every Muslim who was dying was made essential, obligatory. 
موت و ان طرح کا خیر علی وسیعت والے دینے والا قربین بٹ وین دی لا آف انہیریٹنس کیم اٹ واز ایبروکیٹڈ ناؤ اٹ از ناٹ نیسیسری اف یو وانٹ ٹو میک اے بیکویسٹ دین اونلی ون تھرڈ آف یور ٹوٹل پراپرٹی یو نو یو کین میک دی بیکویسٹ فار دیٹ ناٹ مور دین سو دس دس کمس یم اللہ ما یشا و یوسمت بٹ سو ایور اللہ وانٹس ٹو کیپ اینڈ ریٹین ہی ریٹینس اینڈ وٹ ایور ہی وانٹس یو نو ٹو بلاٹ آؤٹ ہی بلاٹس آؤٹ وائی ان دا ہو ام الکتاب اینڈ ود ہم از دی مدر آف دی بکس وائی ان دا ہو لفی ام الکتاب لدین علی الحکیم لاہ محفوظ آئی ٹول یو آن دی ویری فرسٹ ڈے دیٹ ایکچولی دس قرآن از دی اٹیسٹڈ کاپی آف دیٹ بک دی ریئل بک از دیئر فی لاہ محفوظ بل ہوا قرآن مجید فی لاہ محفوظ فی کتاب مکنون فی ام الکتاب That is the real book and these are the attested copies. Just, you know, a judge writes a judgment and that judgment remains there in the official record. Only attested copies of those judgments can be given to the parties. This is an attested copy of the judgment written by, by judge so and so. And then this is actually an attested copy. And it is also possible that we show You, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, some of what we have been threatening them with, the azab may, may come in your lifetime. And it is also possible that we take, take you back, we possess you. Anyhow, in any case, on you the responsibility is of conveying. Reckoning and taking account is our business, not yours. اولم یرا ان ناتی لردن ان کو سوابن اطراف ہے آر دے ناٹ سینگ دیٹ وی گو آن ڈیمنیشنگ دی لینڈ آن اٹس بارڈرس فرام دیم آئی ٹول یو نو ان دی بائی لیکچر آن دی میتھڈالوجی آف دی اسلامک ریولیوشن دی ریولیوشن آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی زون آف انفلوئنس آف قریش واز ڈیمنیشنگ ڈے بائی ڈے اینڈ دی زون آف انفلوئنس آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واز انکریزنگ ایون بفور ہجرا Because his message was spreading, although he had, you know, spent all his time at Makkah during at least the first ten years. But, you know, the news had gone to far and wide regions. And in this tribe, certain peoples have come to believe. In this tribe also, again, certain peoples have come to believe. The message was uh, progressing every day. And what did it mean? Actually, all these things are going towards Makkah, as if advancing towards Makkah. So Makkah is being encircled. These Quraysh and these Mushrikeen are being encircled. And the circle is becoming low, closer and closer to them. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّا نَاتِ الْأَرْضَ نُنْ قُسُوهَا مِنْ اَتْرَافِهَا وَاللَّهُ يَحْكُمُ وَلَا مُعَقْتِبَ لِحُكْمِهِ It is Allah who commands, decides. And there is no repeller of His command. Whosoever, whatever He commands, it is executed. وَهُوَ صَرِيُّ الْحِسَابِ And He is very swift in reckoning. وَقَدْ مَكَرَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ فَلِ اللَّهِ الْمَكْرُ جَمِيعًا Those people also who were before them, they made devices and plans how to stop this message and how to stop these messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلِ اللَّهِ الْمَكْرُ جَمِيعًا All their plans are under the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَعْلَمُ مَا تَقْسِبُ كُلُّ نَفْسِمْ وَسَيَعْلَمُ الْكُفَّارُ لِمَنْ اُقْبَدَّارُ He knows whatever every soul is earning. And very soon these kuffar, these disbelievers, these rejecters of the faith will come to know for whom is the happy abode in the hereafter. وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَسْتَ مُرْسَلَةً And these kuffar who have rejected you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they say, they are saying, you are not a messenger of Allah. لَسْتَ مُرْسَلَةً قُلْ كَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَكُمْ Tell them, Allah is sufficient as a witness between me and you. He knows that He has sent me. He is sufficient for testifying. He testifies that I am his messenger. وَمَنْ إِنْدَهُ إِلْمُ الْكِتَابِ And in addition to Allah, those people also who have the knowledge of the book, these people sitting in Medina or in Najran, there were Christians in Najran, south of Mecca. There were Jews in Medina, north of Mecca. So these people also know and they also testify because they had all the signs of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in their books. And we have read this ayah, يَعْرِفُونَهُ كَمَا يَعْرِفُونَ أَبْنَاهُمْ They know him and recognize him just as they recognize their own sons. So Allah testifies that I am the messenger of Allah and those people also who have the knowledge of the book. Now we are proceeding to the second surah of despair. 
سورت ابراہیم علیہ سلاۃ وسلام بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الف لام را کتاب اللہ علیہ کا دس از اے بک وچ وی ہیو سینڈ ڈاؤن ٹو یو او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم لتخرج الناس من الظلمات الى النور سو دیٹ یو برنگ آؤٹ پیپل فرام آل شیڈز اف ڈارکنیسز انٹو دی لائٹ بیسن ربہم بٹ دس یو ول بی ایبل ٹو ڈو وتھ دی لیو اف اللہ وتھ دی پرمیشن اف اللہ ناٹ دیٹ ہوم سو ایور یو وانٹ ٹو برنگ Out from the darkness, you can bring it. No, this authority is not with you. In the Kalat Ahdi Man Ahbabta, Walakin Allah Yahdi Man Yasha. But you have to try for that. Based on the Rabbi Him, Ira Sirat Al Aziz Al Hamid, to the path of Allah, who is Al Aziz, Almighty, and who is Hamid, who is praiseworthy, and who is praised Him in Himself, self-praised. Allah Hu Ladi Lahu Maafi Samawat Wa Maafi Lard. Allah is He. To whom, to whom belongs everything which is in the heavens and in the earth. وَوَيْلُ لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ عَذَابٍ شَدِيدٍ And woe to the disbelievers from severe testament and punishment that is, that is going to be their lot. لِلَّذِينَ يَسْتَحِبُّونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا Those who have preferred this life of this dunya عَلَى الْآخِرَةِ over the hereafter. This is the crucial thing. Which life you prefer? Life of here, this world, All the life of hereafter. This is crucial. You have to make a choice. You know, you may say that you are believing in Akhira, but actually your behavior will show which one you are preferring, this life or that life. What amount of your time and energies they are being spent for that life and how, what amount of percentage of your time and energies and all your, you know, your uh, say, your jod and all your Working is devoted only to the requirements of this life. This is actually, your conduct will show it. الَّذِينَ يَسْتَحِبُّونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا عَلَى الْآخِرَةَ وَيَسُدُّونَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ And they, they, they themselves held back from the path of Allah and stop other also. وَيَغْغُونَ هَا عِوَجَا And they want to find crookedness, mistakes with the, with the, with the message of Allah. أُولَائِكَ فِي ذَلَالٍ بَعِيدٍ They have gone far astray. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ بِنِسَامِ قَوْمِهِ And we didn't send any messengers but with the tongue, with the language of his own nation. لَيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ So that he explains it to, to, to his nation. Had he been sent with some foreign language, it couldn't be intelligible for his nation, for his people. So every prophet of Allah, every messenger of Allah, to, he, to, to him the revelation came in, the, in, the, in his own tongue, in his own language. Because, you know, Torah was in Hebrew, Quran is in Arabic. Maybe if somebody was sent, we can't say for sure, but if some, someone, as we know, in essential, essentially as a principle, must have been sent in, in, you know, such a big country, what a big chunk of humanity lives in China, there must have been sent some prophet. You know, the revelation to him must have come in Chinese language. So this is the, the rule. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ بِرِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُذِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَعْ وَيَعْدِ مَنْ يَشَعْ When it is all explained and made clear, now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray whomsoever likes. And He guides whomsoever He likes. And I have told you many a time, this can go both ways. Allah guides whomsoever He likes. He, he, he likes and Allah guides whosoever wants to be guided. And Allah, you know, sends astray whomsoever He decides, or you can say Allah sends astray to whomsoever He wants to be to go astray Himself. So Allah gives him, leaves him alone. Go which way you want to go. Bahu al Azizul Hakim, and He is Al Aziz, having all power and authority, and Hakim, having all wisdom. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا And we have sent Musa with our signs and miracles. And أَخْرِجْ قَوْمَكَ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ They bring out, try to bring up out your people from all shades of darknesses, shade of shirk, shade of kurf, shade of materialism and so on. Azulumat ila nur, to the light of iman. Wazakkir hum bi ayyam illah. Now this term which I have been using, you know, for so many days, you find this term in Quran. Wazakkir hum bi ayyam illah. Now admonish them, remind them by mentioning to them the big days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which were those big days in which whole nations were annihilated. Whole communities 
made as if they never lived. Kallam yagnafiha. The whole people of Nu drowned. The whole people of Hud, the Aad, the big nation, they finished, exterminated, annihilated. So those days in which these big commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were executed, they are called Ayyamullah. They are the days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Zakkinum bi Ayyamillah. As I told you in Makki surahs, one pair, one surah of the pair, it will more emphasize at Taskir bi Ala illah. And the other, you will more find at Taskir bi Ayyamillah. This is the term over here. وَذَكِّرْهُمْ بِأَيَّامِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِكُلِّ سَبْبَانِ شَكُورِ Definitely in those ayyam illah, in those stories and events, there are signs for those who are steadfast and grateful. وَإِسْقَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِ اذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ And when Moses said, Musa said to his people, Bani Israel, اذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ Just remember the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that came to you is when he delivered you from the people of Fir'aun, Yasubu lakum suwal azab. Now just remember the wordings of Surah Al-Baqarah. The same words are happening here. And I am only, you know, drawing your attention to it so that you know. These surahs are closer regarding the period of their revelations. Because they are just before Hijrah, Surah Al-Baqarah, just after Hijrah. Yasubu lakum suwal azab. They were inflicting you with the, with the worst of the chastisements. What was it? For Yuzabihuna Abnakum. They were killing and slaying and murdering your sons, for Yastahyuna Nisakum. And they were keeping your women and your children, your female children, female offsprings alive. But Fizalikum Balaw bin Rabbikum. Definitely in it there was a grievous trial for you from your Lord. Why Stazana Rabbukum? And just remember, when your Lord proclaimed, Lain Shakartum Lazidanakum. If you are grateful, if you show gratefulness, we have given you these blessings. We have given you the book, Torah. If you show great gratefulness, I will give you more and more. My blessings will be increased. But if you prove to be ungrateful, unthankful, thankless people, in Azabi la Shadid, then my chastisement is also very severe. And Musa said to them, if you or all who live in the world, in, in the whole of the earth, if they become kuffar, if they deny Allah, if they reject Allah, if they are ungrateful to Allah, they will not be able to do any harm to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is lagani. He is self-sufficient. He doesn't need anything. And he is self-praised. And he is praiseworthy or self-praised. Alam yatikum nabaw lazina min qablikum. Now you know, as I told you in this surah, the name will not be taken. But you know, these the, all, all of these messengers, they are mentioned as one. Now because they are ummat wahida they are mentioned here as a, as a group. Alam yatikum labaw lazina kafaru min qablikum, qawmi nuhin wa adin wa samud wa lazina min ba'dihim. Have not the news of those people, those nations who are before you reached you, that is, the nation of Nuh, and the Aad, and the Samud, and those who were after them, you know, because Madian and Hazrat Lut, alayhi salatu was salam, they, and Hazrat Musa, they were all after them. La ya'alamuhum Allah, illa Allah. Nobody knows all of them except Allah. Because there had been many messengers, many prophets in other parts of the world. La ya'alamuhum illa Allah. Nobody knows all of them except Allah. Jathum Rusuluhum bil bayyanat. Their messengers came to them with clear teachings, clear signs, even miracles. Faraddu aidiyahum fi afwahihim. They thrust their hands into their mouths. Now this is an idiom. And it can have two meanings. Sign of wondering. How? How can it happen? We never heard of it. That a messenger coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or in anger. In anger also, you know, somebody takes his fingers into his mouth. They thrust their hands into their mouths. And they said, all of them, we disbelieve what you have been sent with. And definitely and verily, certainly, what you are calling us to, we are in a very disquieting and perturbing doubt about it. We can't be sure. 
you say you are the messenger of Allah, how can we be sure? You say whatever you are saying is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth. How can we be sure? So we have all the doubts. Qalat Rasuluhum. Now the messenger, now here they are being mentioned collectively. Qalat Rasuluhum. Their messenger said, Afillahi shakkur fatir is samawati wal ard. Have you any doubts about Allah? Who is the originator of all the heavens and the world and the earth? Yadrukum le yafira lakum min zunubikum. He is calling you. And we are calling you on his behalf. Actually, he is calling you. Yadrukum le yafira lakum. So that he, he pardons you. He forgives you from your sins. Wa yuakhirkum il ajarin musamma. And he defers your case. And postpones it for a fixed period of time. Qalu in antum illa basharum misluna. They said, no, oh, you are also just human beings like us. You are, you can't claim to be messengers of Allah. Turiduna anta sudduna amma kana yabudu abawna. You want to stop us from worshipping what our forefathers used to worship. Fatuna bi sultani mubin. If it is so, you must produce some clear authority, manifest authority. Some visible sign and miracle. Talat lahum rusuluhum. Their messengers said to them, we are nothing but humans like you. But it is for Allah. He favors, bestows his favors on whomsoever he likes from his bondsmen. He has favored us with revelation. He has favored us, chosen us as prophets, as messengers. And it is not in our powers. To bring to you some signs, some miracle, except with the leave of Allah, with the permission of Allah. And all who believe in Allah must put their faith in Him. And what is to us? What can happen to us? What can be the reason to us? Why shouldn't we place all our faith and confidence and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And He has shown us. He has led us to his paths. And we shall show patience. We shall be steadfast. We shall persevere on what persecution you are giving to us. And whosoever has to place his trust in anybody, he should place the trust in Allah. He is the most trustworthy. And said those people who disbelieved their messengers to the messengers, we shall expel you from our lands, our cities, our towns. Or you have to come back to our beliefs, our creeds, the forefathers, you know, whatever the creed was of forefathers, you have to come back to the folds of that. Then their Lord sent them the revelation that now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to destroy these evildoers. Now this is the limit, time limit. When the, the nations gave the final, you know, ultimatum. Now you come back or we shall kill you. You come back to the fold of your, the religion and creed of your forefathers or uh, we shall expel you. As we had those words, you know, لَيَسْمِتُوكَ أَوْ يَقْتُلُوكَ أَوْ يُخْرِجُوكَ When this decision is taken by the nations, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the final verdict. Now you go away, you make hijrah, and we are going to destroy this whole nation. So, Now we are going to destroy and annihilate these evildoers. And now we shall make you dwell in the land after them. Just as after the people of Nuh, the people of Hud sprang up. And they were the people, men of strength and civilization and culture. And after they were destroyed, then Samud came up in the Arabian Peninsula. Zalika liman khafa maqami wa khafa wa'id. And this is for whom, who has, who fears my threat and who, who fears of standing before me. Khafa maqami. Amma man khafa maqama rabbihi wa nahan nafsa anil hawa. Whosoever fears, you know, that one day I'll have to stand before my Lord for that grand accountability of the Day of Judgment. Whosoever has this fear, and whosoever has fear of my, uh, uh, fear of my threats, then, then they will be saved. And they demanded 
a judgment. And all the tyrants and the obstinates, they were, they were, you know, they were destroyed and they were humiliated, disappointed. Now this is the same judgment about which we had at the ayah in Surah Al-Anfal. In tastaftahu faqad jaatumul fat. Abu Jahl said, this day Yawmul Furqan is going to be the day of judgment. It will prove who is on the right path. Because he was very sure of his victory. One thousand of us fully armed are going. And there, you know, their intelligence must have informed them that the Muslim, you know, they are only three hundred or so. And they are without arms. So he was so sure of victory. He said, this is going to be Yawmul Furqan. That is why Allah said in Surah Al-Fatih, in tastafir, tastaftahu, faqad jaakum al-fatih. Wa in ta'udu, na'ud. If you wanted a judgment, the judgment has already come. The same, wastaftahu wa khaba kullu jabbar in adid. They wanted a judgment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Judgment came. And you know, those people who were tyrants and obstinate, they were disappointed. Min varaihi jahannam. This destruction, you know, in this world, that was only the preliminary chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bimwarai jahannam, behind him, behind this, this chastisement of this, this world, is the jahannam, that is the real abode, that is the real punishment. Wa in ma'in sadeed, and they will be given to drink boiling and foul-smelling water. Ma'un sadeed. Yata jarrahu wa la yakadu yusiquhu, they will try to sip. Due to the thirst, you know, sip the water. But they won't be able to swallow it. It will be so foul-smelling, boiling. They will see that death is coming from every corner, from every side death is coming. But he will not be able to die. Condition will be as if death is coming. He will be in such a distress that any moment the death is coming from this side or this side. Only if he could die, he would have been freed from the torment. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not let him die. As we have read, if their skins will be burnt, we shall give them new skins, so that they, they must keep on tasting, you know, keep, keep tasting the fire, you know, because these, only these, these skins are sensitive. Beneath this, you know, our tissues, they are not sensitive. So the skins will be again replaced. Mamimwarahi Agabul Ghalis. And behind that, more harsh chastisement. Masalul Ladina Kafaru Birabrahim Amalahum Karamabit Karamadin Shtadad Bihriho fi Yamin Asif. This is one of the very important ayat of the Quran. Because even the worst of the kuffar and even the worst of the people who make shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they also do some good deeds to satisfy their souls. To satisfy their conscience. Even the best, worst criminals, they also do something. The dequires, you know, we have stories in the Indian subcontinent that the dequires were very cruel, but they used to help the widows, the orphans, and so on. Even, you know, the women who sell their bodies, they also, in Ashura Muharram, you'll find them that they are wearing black robes and, you know, they are with the with the Tazia, and you know, they are also setting up sabils for the people who are there with, with that procession. Because they also have conscience, you know, and they have to satisfy their conscience. But what is the reality of the, the good deeds, the virtuous deeds of such people, who are not at the level of Iman, real Iman? If the real Iman is not there, but they have some good deeds. What is going to happen to these good deeds? Masalul الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ The similitude of those who disbelieve their Lord. أَعْمَالُهُمْ Their good deeds will be كَرَمَادٍ اِشْتَدَّدْ بِهِ الرِّيهُ فِي يَوْمٍ عَاصِمٍ Just like ashes upon which the wind blows hard on a stormy day. A heap of ash, ashes. A very strong wind comes, just scatters the whole, all of the ashes. Nothing left. All these virtuous deeds, the so-called good deeds, public service acts and so and so forth, they will just be habam mansura. They will be just thrown away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give them any weight. Yaqdiruna, la yaqdiruna mimma kisibu ala shay. They will have no power over what they ought to that they have earned. They thought that we have earned a lot. 
we did good works. We we established the foundations and such charitable institutions. All these things we have done. So they will be hoping to have some reward. But you know, there will be nothing. Because we shall find another simile in Surah An-Nur. Kasarabim bekhiyati ya sabuhu zamanu ma. Just like a mirage in the desert, you know. The thirsty thinks that it's the water. Goes on, goes on, goes on, goes on. But no water. It's all mirage. Nothing of the sort. So like that, they, they have, they feel we have something on our credit side. We have at least, if we didn't believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, okay, we committed an error. But we, you know, we have been doing such and such good deeds. Ajal tum siqayat al haj wa ibarat al masjid al haram. We have, you know, read that ayah in Surah Al-Tawbah. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبَّهِمْ عَمَالُهُمْ كَا رَمَادٍ اشْتَدَّتْ بِهِ الْرِيهُ فِي يَوْمٍ عَاصِفٍ لَا يَخْدِرُونَ مِمَّا كَسَبُوا عَلَى شَيْءٍ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الضَّلَالُ الْبَعِيدِ This is a failure of a high degree. They have gone far astray. أَلَمْ تَرَا أَنَّ اللَّهَ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْلَرْضِ Don't you see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all the heaven and the earth with a حق, with a purpose, a definite design. In Yasha Yudhimkum, if he likes, he will take you away. وَيَعْتَ بِخَلْقٍ جَدِيدٍ He has all the power. His creative activity has not exhausted. He can bring another creation in your place. وَمَا ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِعَزِيزٍ And there is no great matter for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing very heavy. وَبَرَضُوا لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا And all of them will stand before Allah. They will appear before Allah. فَقَالَ الزُّعَفَاءُ لِلَّذِينَ اسْتَقْبَرُوا Now in every nation, every society, there are people who hold the reins of power. And the general masses, common people, they follow them. Now these people will say to them, well, you were our leaders, we followed you. You took us on that path. Now can you save us from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here? Then can we avail of your services here? The haughty and the arrogant, the weak people will say to them, Inna kunna lakum taban. We were your followers. We took you as our leaders. We believed in you. Now can you save us from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Waqalu. Qalu, they will reply, Law hadana Allahu la hadainakum. Had Allah guided us, we would have guided you. Sawaun alayna jazainam sabarna. Now it's all equal. If we bewail or we take whatever is coming to us, we endure it patiently. Ma'alana mi mahis, we have no place of escape. We are equal here. The leaders and the led, both will be in that punishment and chastisement. Nobody will be able to help anybody. وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانِ Very beautiful presentation of what will be the end of this shaitan. وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانِ And second would say, لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرُ When everything had been decided, all the cases of all human beings, you know, decided, he will now address those who had followed him. إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعَدَ الْحَقِّ Listen, Allah also gave you promise, and that was a true promise. So, what to come, fakhlaq to come. I also gave you my promises, but I couldn't fulfill them. Mama kana li alaykum in sultan. I had no power over you. I could not compel anyone of you to follow me. I had no authority over you. Ma kana li alaykum in sultan. Illa andao to come. Except that I called you. Fadao, fasta jab tum li. You accept it. You responded, you followed me. فَلَا تَلُومُونِي وَلُومُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Now don't blame me, blame your own selves. مَا أَنَا بِمُسْخِلِكُمْ I cannot come to you, to your help. وَمَا أَنْتُمْ بِمُسْخِلِقِيَّةِ Nor you can come to my help. إِنِّي كَفَرْتُ بِمَا أَشْتَقْتُمُونِي مِنْ قَبْلِ I declare my denial of what you were making me equal to Allah before this. I declare, in the kafar to be maashak to muni min qabl, in the days gone by, in the zalimin alahum agabun alim, for all these evil doers, there is going to be a painful chastisement, painful punishment. 
بہت خدل نذین آمن و عامل صالحات جنات اینڈ دوز ہو ہیڈ بلیف ہو ہیڈ ایمان اینڈ ہو ہیڈ ڈن گڈ ڈیڈس دے ول بی میڈ ٹو اینٹر دے ول بی ایڈمٹیڈ ٹو جنات ٹو دی گارڈن تجری من تحت الانہار انڈر نیتھ وچ ریورس ول بی فلوئنگ خالدین فیحا بجن ربہم اینڈ دے ول ڈویل دیئر فار ایور ود دی لیو اف دی لارڈ تحیتہم فیحا سلام دیئر گریٹنگز ان دیٹ ول بی سلام الم تر کیف درب اللہ مثلا کلم تن طیب تن کا شجر تن طیب تن نسل ہا ثابت و فر ہا فی السماء ڈونٹ یو سی ہاؤ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہے سٹرک کے سیملی چیوڈ ای پیربل آف ای گوڈلی ورڈ جسٹ ورڈ کریکٹ ورڈ کلمت الحق کلمت طیبہ کا شجر تن طیب تن اس جسٹ لائک ای گوڈ ٹری اسل ہا ثابت whose root is fixed in the land of Faroha of his Sama and its branches are in the heavens. And if from every you know, seed comes out a tree, even a good word, a word of justice, a virtuous word, that is how very profound in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A good, you know, idea, the correct ideology, the correct, correct dawah, all these things, although they are only words. When Muhammad started preaching, it was all words, nothing else. But these words were so, you know, profound, that from these words grew the movement. And that movement, you know, in only 20 years' time, it brought about a big revolution. Now that big tree of khilafat e rajda where from did it grow? It grew from the words of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he was preaching in the streets of Mecca. Alam tara kaifa darab allahu basalan kalimatan tayyibatan ka shajaratin tayyibatin asluha sabitun wa faruha fi sama. Tuti hu kalaha kullaheen. And this good, this tree, it is giving its fruit in every season. Bizni rabbiha. With the leave and the permission of its lord. Wa yadribu allahu lamsara lil nas. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strikes these parables and similitudes for the mankind. La allahum ya tazakkaroon. That they should be admonished and reminded. Wa mazaru kalimatin khabisatin ka shajaratin khabisatin chussat min fawqi lard ma laha min qarar. And the foul word, although for some time being it might appear to be effective, but its similitude of a foul word is of a foul tree. Uprooted from above the earth. It has no roots. No roots. It can be uprooted at any moment from above the earth. It is only superficially attached to the earth. Ma laha min qarar. There is not going to be any stability in it. All falsehood has no stability. All truth has the roots down deep into the soil. But you know, it might appear that this false thing is very, you know, awful. But actually, if you look to the reality, it is nothing. يُسْبِتُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِالْقَوْلِ السَّابِتِ فِي الْحَيَاتِ الدُّنْيَا Just like these words, good word, bad word, foul word. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps firm those who believe with a firm word in the life of this world and the hereafter. And what is the biggest, you know, كلمة الطيبة? لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله يُسَبِّتُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِالْقَوْلِ السَّابِتِ This is the creed, this is the foundation of Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives firmness to, who, to those who believe. Fil hayat e dunya wa fil akhirah. In this world also and in the hereafter. Fa yudullu allahu zalimeen. And Allah sends the evildoers astray. Fa yafalu allahu ma yasha. And Allah does whatever he likes. Alam tara ila allazina baddalu ni'mat allahi kufran. Wa ahallu qawbahum dar al-bawar. Have you not seen or thought about those people? who exchanged the bounty of Allah with ingratitude. Allah gave them Qur'an, the biggest blessing, and they are thankless, they are not grateful, they are not reading it, they are not accepting it, they are not making it the light for their lives, not making it the imam for their, you know, conduct in life. أَلَمْ تَرَيْ لَلَّذِينَ بَدَّلُوا نِعْمَةُ اللَّهِ كُفْرًا وَأَحَلُّوا قَوْمَهُمْ دَارَ الْبَوَارِ And they, these are the people who alight or who will make their nation to descend The place of destruction. Jahannam. What is that place of destruction? Jahannam. Yes, launaha. They will enter it. Vabes al-Qarar. And it's the evil place of stay. Vajadu lillahi andadan. Le yudillu an sabi lehi. And they have concocted for Allah. Rivals. Equals and rivals. 
so that they can lead people astray from his path. Kul tamattahu. Tell to them, okay, enjoy for some time. You can enjoy in this life, in this world, for some time. Tamattahu. Fa'inna masira kumil annar. But you know, your return is to the fire. Kul le ibadi alladhina amanu yuqimu salah. Tell my bondsmen who have come to believe in me. They should establish prayer. And they should keep on expanding from whatever we have given them. Secretly and also openly. Before, until that, before that, that days come, that day comes. The day of hereafter, the day of judgment. When there will be no bargaining, no selling, no purchasing, and no befriending, no friend will be able to help you. Before that day comes, you spend in the way of Allah, and you earn whatever you can earn for your own self. Allah is He who created all the heavens and the earth, and He sent down from the heaven the water. And with that water, he brought out from the, 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 in the shape of fruits, the fruit, the risk for you, the food and sustenance for you. And he has subjected for you the ships and the boats so that they should, you know, float in the ocean or in the river. And by his command, and he has subjected for you, for your favor, these rivers which irrigate lands. And he has subjected for you this sun and the moon. And they, they are constant, constant upon their courses. And he has subjected for you, for your benefit, the light and the day. And he has given you whatever, all that you have asked him. And now this asking is knowingly also, unknowingly also. He has provided with so many things about which we don't know that we needed it. Today we have discovered these are the vitamins and these are, you know, these are needed. But Allah had already provided them. We have only discovered them. We could never ask Him, Oh Allah give us the vitamins. He put these vitamins in the, all these things. Although we had not asked for them, we had not known that they are necessary for our body, for our, you know, normal working of the body. So whatever you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you required and whatever you asked for, He provided you. If you want to count the blessings of Allah, you won't be able to reckon them. But man is very much evil-doing and ingrateful. He doesn't show gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over all his bounties. Now the story of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. Just recall when Ibrahim prayed to his Lord, Rabbi Jal Had al Balada Amina, O oh my Lord, make this city, this city of Mecca, a place of peace and security. And please save me and my progeny from worshipping these idols. Rabbi Inna Hunna Adlalla Kasira Minanas, O my Lord, these idols have led so many people astray. People have been worshipping them and gone, you know, to the wrong paths. So save me and my... Now this is the picture being shown to people who thought that they were the progeny of Ibrahim, who claimed that they were followers of Ibrahim. Now what did Ibrahim say? He said, and he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please keep my progeny safe from the worship of these idols. And you have placed 360 idols in that house that he built. For the, for the prayers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbi inna hunna azlalna kaseera minan nasim faman tabi'ani fa inna hu minni. So whosoever follows me, and he is from me, he is my ummah, he belongs to me, wa man asani fa inna ka ghafoorul raheem. And but whosoever disobeys me, he goes astray, then you are the forgiving, the merciful. You know, this is the way Hazrat Masih alayhi salam, you know, we read in the end of Surah Al-Ma'idah, but he will he say on the day of judgment, in Twazibhum, find the hum Ibaduk. Find the fill the hum, find the Kadakulisha in Kadi. If you punish them, 
Well, they are your creatures, they are your bondsmen. You can do anything you like. But if you forgive them, well, you are Ghafoor and Rahim, you are Allah Kulesha and Kadeem, nobody can ask you why you have forgiven them. This is the most subtle way, you know, of appealing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same are the, the abundings. فَمَنْ تَبِعَنِي فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي Whosoever follows me, well, he is saved because he belongs to me. وَمَنْ عَصَانِي But as for those who disobey me, فَإِنَّا كَغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ For them, you know, I invoke your maghfirah and your rahmah. رَبَّنَا إِنِّي أَسْكَلْتُ مِنْ ذُرِّيَتِ لِوَادِينَ غَيْرِ زِي زَرِينَ Oh, my Lord, I have made a branch of my progeny settle here in this valley which is uncultivable, which has no cultivation, due to your command. In the Bayatik al-Muharram, near your house, which is, you know, very sacred house. Rabbana li yuqimu salah, what for? Oh, our Lord, so that they should establish prayer here. Fajal afidatan min al-nasi tahwi ilayhim. So now you make the hearts of some people, they should incline towards them. Inclining towards them, leaning towards them. Be soft and kind to them. Tahvi ilayhim warzukhum in samarat. And now it's on to you to provide them with fruits. There's no cultivation here. No water. Land is incultivable. Now it's upon you. It's your, you know, I request you that you pro provide this, this progeny of mine. This Bani Ismail. Min samarat ila Allahum yashkurun. With the fruits. So that they should be grateful. Rabbana inna ka talamu maanu khfi wa maanu olin. Oh, our Lord, you very well know what we hide in our hearts and what we reveal and say openly. Wa ma yaqfaal Allahi min shayin fil arde wa la fi sama. And nothing, no, no, nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, neither in the heavens nor in the earth. Alhamdulillah illadhi wahabali ala al-kibar ismail wa ishaq. All praise be to Allah, who bestowed upon me, despite my old age. Ibrahim was 87 years old when Hazrat Ismail was born. And he was full 100 years of age when Hazrat Ishaq was born. Baaza Bali Shaykha, you read it, you know, in Surah Uhud. Hazrat Sarah saying, and this husband of mine is also grown old. I am also Ujus. I am a very old woman. How can I give birth to a child? But you know, that was the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ishaq, she bore him and Hazrat Ismail was hundred years old. Alhamdulillah, Hazrat Ibrahim was hundred years old. Hazrat Ismail was thirteen years elder to Hazrat Ishaq. Alhamdulillah, Hazrat Ismail was hundred years old to Hazrat Ishaq. He bestowed upon me Ismail and Ishaq. Yet despite my old age, in the Rabbi la Sami Uddha, verily my Lord is the listener of the prayer. Rabbi di'alni muqeem as salati wa min zurriyati. Oh my Lord, you make me establish the salah. And from my progeny also. Rabbana wa taqabbal du'ai. Oh our Lord, please accept my prayer. Rabbana firli wa li walidayya. And oh our Lord, Forgive me and my parents, walil mu'mineen, and all the believers. Yawma yaqubul hisab. The day when, you know, reckoning is taken, reckoning is done, comes to pass. Wala tahsabanna Allah ghafilan amma ya'malu zhalimu. The concluding section of this surah. Never think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unaware from whatever these evildoers are doing. If we are not punishing them right now, don't think that we don't know what they are doing. In the ma'yuakhirhum le yawmin. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is postponing them, giving them a respite, le yawmin. For that day, tashkhasufi labsar. On which eyes will be, you know, stared in, in terror. When there is khauf, terror, you know, the eyes are fixed at some point. Tashkhasu lafsi labsar. مُحْتِعِينَ مُقْلِعِ رَوْسَهِمْ They'll be running forward, their heads upward. لَا يَرْتَدُّ إِلَيْهِمْ تَرْفُهُمْ Their glances will not return towards them. 
وافد افدتهم هوا اند देयर हार्ट्स विल बी जस्ट एम्प्टी وانظر الناس يوم ياتيهم العذاب ان وان او محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم that on the day this azab will come فيقول الذين ظلموا now these evil doers you know they are challenging allah challenging muhammad denying you know arrogantly haughtily but on that day they will say ربنا اخرنا الى اجل قريب او اور لارد just respite us for a small more period some time some you know time fixed which might be very قريب very near najib mujib daawat ka we shall respond positively to your call wana tabi rusul and we shall follow the messengers awalam takunu aqsamtum min qabl ma lakum min zawal were you not swearing before that there can never come to you any decline you are sure of your power and stability awalam aqtakunu aqsamtum they was you were swearing that there can be no decline to us wa sakantum fi masakin alladheena zalamu and you lived in the houses in the dwellings of those who were evil doers zalamu anfusahum wa tabayyana lakum kayfa fa'alna bihim and it was all clear for to you what we had done to them what we had done to samud what we had done to ad you were dwelling in the same area you knew what what came to them wa zalabna lakum al-amsal and we struck similar cues for you wa qad makaru makrahum wa inda llah makrahum they also tried their best devised plots and they all uh, everything but all their plots are with allah subhanahu wa taala under his control wa in kana makrahum la tazula minhu al jabal and definitely their devices their devices and their plannings were so great that they could move even the mountains whatever they were devising and deciding for muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam all the elders of the clans of of quraish assembled in in a house in darul nadwa their their parliament and they could do anything but what allah did to them fala tahsabanna allah mukhlifa ba'dihi rusulah never think that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to is not going to fulfill his promise with his messengers to go back on his words which he has given to his messengers in allah azizun zuntiqam verily allah is all powerful he holds all authority and he is the lord of retribution of vengeance yawma tubaddalu al-ardu ghayra al-ard when this earth will be changed to something else it will take some other form it will not remain round it will be made you know leveled dukkat al-ardu dakkan dakka wa samawat in the same way these heavens will be changed wa baradu lillahi al-wahid al-qahhar and they will all appear before allah the one and the irresistible and the omnipotent one وترى المجرمين يومئذ مقررين مقررين في الاسفار you will see these culprits these criminals on that day they will all be linked together in chains sarabilhum min qatiran and you know their 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 robes and their clothes will be of pitch or you may call say sulfur that catches fire immediately wa taqsha wujuhahum an nar and fire will be covering their faces li yajzi allah kull nafsin ma kasaba so that allah subhanahu wa taala recompenses every soul what it had earned inna allah sariul hisab verily allah subhanahu wa taala is swift in reckoning hada balaghun lin nas behold this is the this is the message for the mankind wala yunzaru bi so that they are warned with this wala yalamu anna ma huwa ilahu wahid and so that they should come to know come to believe be convinced that he is the one the lord the one wahid li yazakkaru ulul albab wala yazakkara ulul albab and so that those who reflect who have the understanding who have the intellect who can use their intellect they should be reminded they should be admonished barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an alazim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayat wa zikr al-hakim Allahu akbar Allahu akbar The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. 
the obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. One, a Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. Two, a Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three, a Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. Four, a Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.